feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Snow day. We're gonna cook some chicken. Let's do it. All right. I got myself a package of um, amazing chicken thighs. Now you want chicken thighs because that's where all the flavor flavor is. Chicken thighs is where it's at. However, what we don't want on the chicken thighs is all the fat. We actually don't want the skin or the bones, but these are bone in and it's all I've got. And since we're snowed in and we're all gonna die from snow, we don't wanna take any chances. So, oh my God, look, I'm just peeling the skin off. Everything's gonna be okay. So that's all you need to do is just peel all the skin off, make sure you get rid of all of that. Um, and then we will get down to business. All right, I am just pulling the skin off of all of these babies. Cause we don't need it. We don't want it. Got no use for that. Ain't got time for that. Oh yeah. Comes off pretty easy. I ain't even worried about the bones being in cause they didn't eat nothing but a thing. Use what you got, man. If you do happen to have chicken thighs laying around that are boneless and skinless, then you are ahead of the game, my friends. Ahead of the game. Out here in poor rock and roll land, we are just going to have to do it ourselves. And I got no problem with that. Adapt and overcome. Look at that. So easy. I ain't even worried. Now this is probably when I cut my finger off. I joke about those kinds of things. That ain't funny. That ain't funny. I got brand new knives. So, I'm trying to be really careful with them. Take some really good care of my knives. All right, let's go through some ingredients. What you're gonna need for this baby. Salt and pepper, as normal. Chicken thighs, boneless and skinless, or whatever you got. You're gonna need a little bit of chicken broth. You need one white or yellow onion. Cut up the julienne. You need about a tablespoon of turmeric root right here. Just take a spoon at the outer edge of this and shave. I'll show you how to do it. Just take it and shave along the root like this. It will work so much better than a vegetable peeler. You'll be so much happier. Just do it like that. Get yourself about a big old chunk about as big as your thumb. Chop it up, dice it just like that. You need a couple of tablespoons of butter. You're gonna need about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And my favorite part, half a cup of wine. Because if you only need a half a cup to cook with, you can't just leave the rest of it sitting there. You're gonna have to do something with it. And I have a great idea for that too. I'm ready, let's do this. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get your pan. You need about a 12 inch pan. I've got this cast iron pan that I love almost more than life itself. It is pretty glorious. Um, I'm gonna get that up to temperature and then I'm gonna throw in some butter to get it started. Now, in the meantime, I've got my chicken breast sitting here, smooth side up. Now, if you don't know what smooth side up is, that ain't it. Smooth side up, right here. We are getting in on the turmeric game. Are you ready to party? It calls for one and a half teaspoons of, of uh, turmeric. And this is how I measure. Hold on, I gotta shake it up. Shake. Shake well before distributing. Let's see. Obviously, I haven't used this in a minute. All right. We're just gonna give it a nice little dusting of turmeric. Now, turmeric is wonderful for you. You should eat more turmeric. It's good for your joints. It's good for your immune system good for your overall health. That looks like about a one and a half teaspoons, does it not? We're also gonna put a little bit of salt on there. Check these new things out with the push of a button. Are you kidding me? Am I not the coolest ever now? That's so badass. While this pan is heating up, I highly re recommend you finish your beer 
because you're gonna need an empty glass to get after the rest of this wine shortly, so. Drink now or forever hold your peace. We are not putting pepper on this because we're gonna put pepper in with this mixture and I'll show you that here in a minute. All right, cool, cool. Now, we got the pan warming up. We have ourselves two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna throw it on in there and just let it get nice and melty. Unlike Kevin, I'm actually gonna turn the vent on before I start because I don't want the smoke alarms to go off. <laughs> I don't know what it is with that guy. He cannot cook anything without the fire alarms going off and the whole room being filled with smoke. Like everything he does is on maximum heat and it's just fire in the hole. It's crazy. Crazy times with Kevin. All right, so next thing I need is something that I do not have. Oh, yes. Right here. All right, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir. I'm just trying to get it nice and melty. This pan is heating up beautifully, as cast iron tends to do. If you guys aren't cooking in a cast iron pan regularly, you should consider, obviously, more minerals in your diet. Why? Because it's iron. All right, boom, butter is melted. Now, I'm going in with the onions. Blam, blam. I want these onions to get nice and melty. I'm going to break them all up so that they get evenly distributed because this is what makes it delicious. Now, this butter just does it. You want to coat all these onions. It smells amazing. I've got this heat at about a medium, medium high. I don't know if I, have I done this before? Kevin, have I done two rope chicken before? I don't remember if you did this online. You got people watching? No, I'm. Is it a video? I'm video. You want a Patreon video? Mm. You could do one, by the way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I have one. Mm, I do love you. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Babe, mm. the fire alarm mm. isn't going off. How That's because I'm not cooking. Mm. The fire alarm goes off when I cook. It's true. <laughs> you look adorable. <laughs> You can wear any hat. It's just like you're just, oh my God. Just well, it is a gift. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw in my turmeric root as well. I'm going to cook these down for just about five, maybe five minutes, four or five minutes. Not very long. I just want to get the onions softened up. So check back in a minute. Fun story. Turmeric and turmeric root will turn everything in your life, including your fingers, your countertops, everything it touches turns yellow. Be prepared to have everything in your life dyed yellow. It's ridiculous. Look at that. These onions have been in there just for a bit. Look how yellow they are already. Turmeric. Magic. I mean, if you don't want to eat it or put it in your diet, you can use it to dye your clothes or your hair because it would probably work for that. Oh, we got a nice sizzle going. Kevin hates onions. He's not a big fan of onions. So I, you can put in as many as you want. One onion, like a medium or a small yellow onion is, or white onion is plenty. Just plenty. He does not like them. Most of the time when I serve this dish to him, he picks all the onions out and sits them on the side. He's a really picky eater if you think about it. There's so many things he won't eat. He won't eat an avocado. He won't eat olives. He doesn't like any white sauces. Ranch, mayo, nothing like that. The only reason he'll do a mayo is if it turns into an aioli. I guess you have to add like some sort of spice to it, like sriracha or something, and then suddenly mayo is acceptable. Only if you call it an aioli. Kevin, I love you, but it's crazy. All right, so those onions are nice and what I call translucent. And now, I'm going to put my seasoned chicken breasts, smooth side, as we've seasoned. And I'm gonna put them smooth side down. So I'm just gonna take them, and this is gonna take some finagling because there's way more chicken breast in here than there is space in the pan. So 
Bear with me for a moment while I finagle. I will do my best. Some of these chicken breasts are not totally thawed. I'm a little nervous about that. All right, in they go. And we're gonna cook them about four minutes, just like this. Any longer that turmeric is going to start to burn. And I'm just putting a little layer of salt on the back side I'm gonna cover. That's gonna sit for about four minutes. Be back in a minute, or four. Whoa, I made a huge mistake. Not really huge, but don't forget, add pepper on the side too, not just salt. We need some pepper in our lives. Get in there, baby. All right, next we're gonna need to open up a bottle of wine. Why yes, let's get started. While we're waiting for that to cook down, we still got a couple of minutes left. Let's get this baby open. Now I am using any white wine, you can use any white wine that you like. The rule of cooking is, if you don't like to drink it, you won't like to cook with it either. So find yourself a nice white wine, table wine that you like. Um, I'm using my own, Jasmine Kane the Ghost. I can't believe this is the only wine opener we have. Our other wine opener that was automatic has completely died. So here I am, old school, old school getting this thing done. Boom, just like that, like a professional. All right, we got that baby out. We are ready to rock and roll. Now what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a measuring cup, give yourself about a half a cup. And what we're gonna do with this is hold on to this because when we get ready to flip the chicken over, there's gonna be like some of the turmeric and the spices that are stuck to the bottom of the pan. And our goal is to kind of, it's kind of like, have you ever seen it? Like uh, any of those hibachi places where they pour like something cold or like water on the stove and it kind of cleans everything. Like it, it steams and it cleans the whole uh, surface of all the like spices and whatnot. That's what this is gonna do. So we're about four minutes in right now. I'm taking a look at this. Any longer than that, your turmeric is gonna burn. Now I'm gonna take um, some just regular palms because I'm gonna flip these. I'm gonna give them a flip. See that nice golden color on there? That's what you want. Like I said, any longer and that will burn. You do not want that. So just get them flipped over. Nice, beautiful, golden color. Oh yes. That is perfect. Starting to get a little toasty bits on there. See, that's what, that's what this wine is for. Wine to the rescue. Thank God. All right. We're gonna go ahead and just throw it in. And now you'll notice it's gonna steam a bunch. You wanna take something and just kinda go across the bottom of it and free up anything that might have stuck, all right? And it's just kind of like giving it a little second life. You want to make sure that everything on the bottom is not stuck to the pan. All right, get our chicken back down in there. Now we're going to cook another two minutes. While I'm doing that, in comes the more fun stuff. We've got uh, half of a cup of heavy cream. And then we're going to use a half a cup of chicken broth. I've got two here. I don't know why I have two in the fridge. That doesn't make any sense to me, but nothing that I do really makes any sense to me. I need to finish this beer. So I've got a whole bottle of wine to finish up. What else do you want to see? All right, pour a minute in. Get ready to party. In goes the cream. And this is so easy because everything's just a half cup. Half cup of everything. Half cup of wine, half cup of cream, half cup of chicken broth. In it goes. Just that easy. Now what I also love about this is you don't waste a whole bunch of like, you don't have a lot of cleanup afterwards. I got a knife, a cutting board, one measuring cup. 
and a plate that I use to season the chicken. Not a big deal. Now, the beauty of this baby is now we are going to put him back, cover him up, turn it down to like a light simmer, about a medium or between low and medium. And we're going to let this cook for 20 minutes, 20 to 22 minutes. But we're going to come back and check on it in just a moment, okay? Um, but while that's happening, I want you guys to find yourselves a nice uh, basmati rice somewhere. Of course, I got to be a little different and go with my basmati rice. Whoa. So I'm going to go ahead and start to prepare this. Just follow the instructions that are on the back. Um, typically, it's about a half a cup of rice per person per serving. So, follow those rules. We'll be right back. Fuck off, Kyle. All right, so, started my rice at the same time that I covered this to let simmer for 22 minutes because it takes the rice about 30 minutes. So, you know, you want to start your rice a little sooner, everything will work out according to plan, but this needs a little bit of time to cool down. So the way it works out for me usually, by the time you start the rice, it all kind of works out at the same time. And that is the goal. The goal. I have my water right here, bringing it to a boil. I put one and three fourths cup of water in here. I'm using a cup of jasmati rice, jasmine basmati, if you didn't get the jasmati thing. Combination, always mixing it up. Uh, in this water, once it reaches a boil, I'm going to put in about half teaspoon of salt and just like a little pat of butter, like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of butter. Um, that's just going to help keep the rice like happy and separated and tastier. So we're going to let this boil. It's almost there. It is there. Ha! Like as if on cue. What? Okay. Let's put in and call that a half teaspoon. Very good. Tablespoon of butter. In you go. Let's get you melted down. So, toaster. All right. Just gonna let that melt down a little bit. And then, it goes to rice. And then from that moment, it's gonna take us 30 minutes for this to cook. Now, rice is kind of tricky. If you're a rice cooker at home, obviously that works way better. If you don't, you just kind of got to watch it. Like there will always be bubbles coming through it. As long as there's moisture, you'll see bubbles. The whole trick is to try to get out all the bubbles without burning the rice. And you don't want to sit there and constantly stir your rice because the key is to get all the moisture out of it. And the best way you can do that is just kind of leave it alone. But that is the key. So when it first goes in and it's boiling, give it a stir. After it's kind of starting to settle, the moisture starting to boil out, let it sit. Don't move it a lot. Just sit there and watch it. The bubbles will tell you. They will communicate to you when it's getting low on moisture. All right, so in goes our basmati rice. Why not? And I've got this knife that I just used for butter. I'll stir it in because why not? I, I don't like to wash dishes. You know, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm turning the heat down to just a solid medium to give it a good boil. I just want it to lightly Lightly simmer, okay? I don't want to get too like violent in there. It's lightly, everything's lightly simmering. This is lightly simmering, you can see it. This is lightly simmering. You can't see it, but trust me, it's doing its thing. I'm gonna partially cover it. Oh man, the moment we've all been waiting for. Finally finished my beer, now I can move on to some uh, Jasmine King wine in a Jasmine King glass because, you know, Jasmine came. So this wine was done at BNL Wine Cellars in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And um, we did a couple years of it. And it's pretty glorious. We got a little bit left, so if you guys ever want one, I can't sell wine really. But I can donate it. And you can donate to it. It's amazing. Um, all right, our chicken has been cooking for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna give you an update on what it looks like. It's probably hot as hell, so I'm gonna hold on to this with this. Look at that. Does that not look glorious? I'm gonna cook this for 
if you, they, they say 18 to 22 minutes. I'm going the full 22 because they were a little bit still frozen just slightly when I started. Our rice is got a beautiful rolling boil. It's been in there for a good 10 minutes. And I'm telling you what, smelling incredible in here. So I'm just going to take it all in. I feel fancy as fuck right now. I do. God, I feel like I got my shit together. And you will too when you're making this, promise. It's so great. You know, I was thinking, why we sit here and wait for this to cook and we sip our wine? We should look at the top reasons why you need more turmeric in your life, all right? Number one, it aids in digestion. Now, that helps you absorb all the body, all, all the things into your body, all your nutrients and fats. You want to be able to absorb everything into your body and you don't want to have bloating, so it helps you relieve yourself of that. Kevin, no more gas. No more gas, Kevin. You don't want that. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. That's mostly what I use it for because I've had arthritis since I was 13. Surprise, if you didn't know that. My hands have always had arthritis. I've always had trouble moving my hands, uh, doing repetitive movements with my hands. And I know it seems weird being a guitar player, or a musician, or a bass player, or whatever, but I have ridiculous arthritis. If you look at my knuckles, you can kind of tell. They're really large, and I don't, I'll never be a hand model, but, but turmeric is really great for an anti-inflammatory, so it really helps with my arthritis. Okay, this one's really important because we like to drink. <laughs> this improves liver function. So, you know, if you um, have a problem with blood proteins like I do or cholesterol, um, you know, this, uh, this will help you with all of that. Turmeric is magic, guys. Hopefully you never need this, but turmeric is a natural antiseptic. So, if you cut your finger open, like I often do, but you can always pack it with turmeric and it will act as an antiseptic and keep it from getting infected. Magic, I'm telling you. Okay, oddly enough, turmeric can help you with Alzheimer's. That seems crazy, right? But studies have proven that people that eat a lot of turmeric do not have problems with Alzheimer's. So if that runs in your family, turmeric might be something that you wanna add to your diet to help you assist with that. Can't be too careful. It's a natural painkiller! Turmeric is actually known to be a great painkiller. And if you're in pain all the time like I am because we're headbanging all the time, you need this in your life. Headbang more, eat more turmeric. You're gonna be fine, don't worry. Turmeric can help you with weight management. I know that seems crazy, but um, because it's helping you with your digestion, it's also gonna aid you in weight management because you're not gonna be bloated, you're not gonna be holding on to all that gas, those gases and the stuff that keeps your stomach heavy, all right? So you need this, trust me. You wanna get skinny. Skinny is the new black. Ugh, turmeric is an antidepressant. Okay, all of us have been going through COVID for fucking ever. You think we can't use a little bit more antidepressant right now? Yeah, we need this. So if you're feeling kind of dragged out on a COVID snowy day, which just happens to be what's going on with me right now, um, we just had to cancel our shows this weekend because of COVID and it snowed at least 10 inches today. Feeling a little bummed out, maybe? A little lethargic? Grab some turmeric chicken. Let's get over that shit and make a fucking snowman. Yeah, this is important for Kevin. This helps with psoriasis. Now, I don't know if you know this, maybe he doesn't even want any people to know this, but Kevin has had um, psoriasis his entire life. Now, turmeric will help you with that. There are medications that you can use for psoriasis too, but if you want to help yourself from the inside out, turmeric is beautiful for helping people with skin conditions, specifically psoriasis. So, you need this. This recipe is gold, mark it down. Also, 10th and final fact, turmeric can help you with acne. 
So, I had acne as a kid. I'm unlucky. I don't get it a lot now, other than when I sweat too much and I don't wash my makeup off before I go to bed. Please don't tell anybody that. That's fucking terrible. Don't ever do that. Uh, but it will help you with people that the people that have natural acne. They will help you with that. This is a miracle thing. I can't even tell you guys how amazing it is. Now let's take a look at our chicken. It's coming along beautifully. Um, look at it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it has been 22 minutes, exactly. So I'm going to just shut the heat off and let it sit while we take a look at our rice. Now, remember I was telling you about the bubbles? I'm looking at my rice. I'm just gonna give you a little, a little, maybe you can see this. Now it looks like this. Now I don't wanna disturb it because all the moisture is in the bottom, but if you tip it like this, you can see there's still moisture in there. So we got a little bit of cooking left to do, right? But not much. Let's go going down. We are so close, people. Have a sip of wine and get the table set because we're almost there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done. Mm. See you later. Oh my goodness. Get I'm gonna go ahead and kill this. Our rice looks like this. You can see it's kind of starting to stick to the bottom. Um, so it's a good time to take it out. I'm giving it a little fluff like this. You can fluff it with a fork. I don't have a fork. That's what I do. Um, so let's do this, shall we? Let's pick this baby up. I'm gonna bring Kevin up here to tell me what he thinks. That feeling. He's about to be a very happy man. And I am about to be a very happy woman. That's what it's like. Oh my god, it's just amazing. Now, Kevin is um, he kind of is not a big rice fan, so sometimes I'll just take like a little bit of the sauce and just put it on the rice just to give it just a little bit. Not much. You don't want to saturate it, because that just kills it. Yeah, let's get him up there and uh, see what he has to say, shall we? But Kevin, Here. I want to I know, baby. Let me get let me get um it's a rough spot. I want it. It smells good. God damn, I can smell it from I here. I want to feed you. All right, all right, here, feed me. But I can't. I have one hand holding this and one hand okay, for this. I don't know how to do this because I got... We're in the one of the final circles here. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. No, go ahead. Sit it down. Sit it down right here. Okay. Sit it right here. I don't want you to lose your game. Oh, it's not that. It was just... Yeah, we were in the middle of fucking huge shit. <laughs> I haven't seen you in years. You've been at war for so long. You're going to be coming this way then. Oh, there he is. Dude, how's that guy alive? Kevin, come back from war. No, how's he alive? Your I'm family needs you. Oh. Fuck you, dude. Did you die? Yes. Okay. I just wanted you to try this. I'm sure it's good. You don't know that. Is, I know it's good. You don't know. I might have really fucked it up this time. Mm -mm. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> oh. Are you happy? So Jasmine just brought me her turmeric chicken. Oh my god, it's good. Okay, go kill people, babe.